Hello everyone, Doc Blade from Forensic Golf. Hey, do me a favor, it's gonna really help us out, you know, as a group, and it's gonna help the channel. Over 77% of the people that watch this channel do not subscribe. And that's that's very typical in YouTube. You get people watching the videos, but they forget to hit subscribe. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there and hit that bell. That way you'll get notified whenever I get new videos out there, okay? That way we can keep bringing you some great content and even improve the content because we're going to go to a whole different level this year with a lot of new equipment, some more technology, and a whole nine yards. So do me a favor. Before you finish watching the videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Let's get that subscription number up there, okay? Thank you. But most of all, keep grinding and subscribe. Okay, folks, Doc Blade, here's a two-minute golf tip. Have you, been, have you ever been on a golf course and you hit a really good drive and then you may hit two or three in a row and all of a sudden it starts to go wayward? You hit a push, you may hit a snap hook and you think it's your golf swing. It may not be your golf swing. It may be something as simple as your tee height. So many times we're not matching up the optimum tee height to our angle of attack. The pros know their tee height. They actually have measured it and know their exact tee height and they can shape shots by the different tee heights that they have. I know a lot of people say you should have a half a ball over the head, maybe three quarters over the head. They heard that on a golf channel or somewhere on YouTube, and they just went out and start doing it. But that may be for somebody who's actually hitting the ball on the upswing, so they're lifting the ball off the peg. Make sure that your angle of attack matches your tee height. Personally, for me, I have a shallow angle of attack, so I prefer a lower T height. The only time I want a high T height is when I want to hit a bomb up in the air and let it stay up in the air for a long period of time. So the next time you go to the practice tee, practice with a low T, a medium height T, and a high T, and within 10 shots, you're gonna find your optimum T height for your angle of attack. They should match up, okay? You shouldn't be playing the same tee height as the guy next to you. Your tee height should match your angle of attack. Absolutely smoked that ball. Cut this par five in half. Took it right down the left hand side because I had the proper tee height and I knew I could trust it. Take that to the practice tee and keep grinding. This tip will change your ball game, especially on your tee shots. Take care. Absolutely smoke.